Okay, so as I keep researching, I did find another original source of the Deseret News. I'd heard this quoted a lot. So this is August, um, and then I've talked about the October 1885, August 1885. Let's just talk about the timeline here. Then you've got, um, what I actually did find was in July 1885 and 236 of Memoirs of President Joseph the Third. He does talk about getting his photo taken by Carner, and mostly talks about having him showing a lot of sympathy and just wanting to really just talk to him and bond with him. Um, after everything I've researched, do I think he saw the daguerreotype and copied it? Copied it by drawing or copied it by rephotographing here? But here in August, so it was July 1885, we got August 1885, so this is where, this is the only one that really states that he took a photograph of the daguerreotype. And so they talk about the portrait of the prophet. They don't title this as photograph. They talk about C.W. Carter, photographer, has in his possession a daguerreotype portrait of the prophet Joseph. So portrait, it does imply to me painting taken in Avi in the year 1843 um, probably within a year of his death the old acquaintances the illustrious man to whom it has been shown pronounce it an excellent likeness um, so they're pronouncing it as it looks like him but they aren't saying this is a photograph of him I've always been of the opinion that the bust and most of the pictures of him in existence made him appear too effeminate looking, this portrait tends to confirm that opinion. And I'd heard this quote, which I was really looking for that, so I'm glad I found this. So this is on my website. The face is shown and it appears to be, excuse me, stronger and more mature looking and the head is broader than generally pictured. Mr. Carter has taken photographic copies of the daguerreotype. Um, and so it doesn't, there doesn't talk about his photo and his dad in that, um, particular July 1885 journal memoirs he's it just says that Carter took photos of him um they just talked and bonded and he showed a lot of sympathy for him and he thought he would join the reorganized church and he didn't but he was apparently telling him that he wasn't super active in the church that he used to be but he wasn't going to join the reorganized church but he had sympathy for his cause um but he He's editing this photo of a portrait, which is a pretty good likeness. That can, seems to be a big thing because this is linked on my website, but it's. Yeah, so this was August 1885. Is where this is. And then what I quoted and analyzed, and you've got Junior Southwell saying, hold your horses. A lot of people think it's a daguerreotype from life, but hey. He says in 1885, he says in 1930, he keeps saying, it was done by David Rogers, a painting. This is a photo of the painting. It looks exactly the same. I've seen the painting. I talked to Emma. She told me this whole story. It was done, he said, eight, you know, and, and so they keep talking about the year 1843. But um, Joseph Smith III in uh, 1879 said it was a portrait done when his dad was 36. His dad died when he was 38. And so the end of this week is coming up on the, um, you know, the, how many years, I'm not going to count how many years, but, um, it's the anniversary, so June 27th of his death, so he, you know, 1844, he actually was 38, he's going to turn 39 in December, but, like, he turned 37 in December 1842. But in September 1842, he was still 36. So Joseph the Third said this painting was done when he was 36. And I think he just would get his dates mixed up, especially by 1910. I think I don't think he's a liar, and so I'm just really open-minded. I think being a member of the church, I, you know, I studied psychology originally in college, and then I got a bachelor's studying dance art and music. Um, my education, I've also um, worked as a skin specialist, esthetician, had to learn the whole anatomy of the face, learn about skin, learn about asymmetry and all these things because I'd work with plastic surgeons and I have worked with plastic surgeons I've worked with medical spas um 
so I learned a lot about the face, but I love to draw and paint faces. And um, then I became a medical assistant and took several levels of AMP where I went over the anatomy of face, but the whole body, you know. But um, when you become an esthetician, you're focused from, you know, the decollete up, just the nerves, everything. I had to memorize. It was just as hard as the anatomy and physiology classes I took. You wouldn't believe it, but it was. So after doing that, I was like, I can become a medical assistant. I can take anatomy and physiology and memorize all this stuff. I'm not just an artist. So, um, but he's saying it's not a very good likeness. And they're like, it, it, it looks like him. You know? So that's really what you're getting from here is they've taken, taken Carter's picture. That's Carter's picture. Um, and then they do mention in October, so we've got August, they're talking about stuff, and you got October 1885. So August 1885, October 1885, he's saying, hold your horses. I've dashed around, I've talked to Carter. Tartar, Carter did take some fine photographs of the daguerreotype, touch them up in good style. But as I've talked about before, and I've, I've looked at actually my picture if you do flip it around and up the contrast his body's almost at the exact same angle you know um so yeah as far as anything else i found this on my website and then i recently found this which is kind of comical but this almost perfectly matches this is it was just in someone's photo album but they have a sworn affidavit in like 1920 oh the guy it showed up in a newspaper in 1928. The sworn affidavit was a little bit earlier. Um, and I'm going to do more research of Harrison Sperry, but he's a, a few months older than Joseph Smith III. And so there are some differences between that and this, which I could talk about. Be like, I don't like what happened here, you know. But they're really sort of fighting because this is this is a painting Joseph Smith III criticized about the ring, criticized his hair, his chin. He's like, no, my dad would have worn the ring on this hand, not that hand, but his own painting shows the ring on the right hand. And so McCarl's like, oh, the painting's based on the daguerreotype, because then it would have flipped it around. But I have the link of Joseph Smith III saying my dad was 36 and he was alive when this was done. So no, it wasn't based on a daguerreotype. The only person that says it was based on a daguerreotype was William B. McCarl himself, because he got excited with his own theory trying to make sense of things that are kind of nonsensical. But yeah, it's a sworn testimony of this guy. So he, yeah, on his um, gravestone, it says that he's like the oldest Mormon. So I think he lived to be like 96. So I'll show you on the next page. His name age is Joseph Smith III. And so he lived like years, several years longer than him. But um, he's like, he was 11. When he last saw the prophet, um, he actually would have been 12 when he died. But anyway, I did the math there, but he was around him all the time. So he's like a really good source. And he says that this picture is the only true real likeness of the prophet Joseph Smith that he's seen in his life. And so this was such a big deal to get it cop. This picture was copyrighted in the United States. It is sworn for me on the 17th day of October. Like they got a sworn affidavit of this poor old guy that this looks like Joseph Smith. This looks like Joseph Smith. And it's, ironically, the ring is missing. It's a darker tie, and it was a white tie. It's obviously a copy of this. This, this was done in 1910. I find interesting. But it's like, I don't know what happened. Someone saw a picture of this? Or they f bought this in Kirtland? It's like, there's so many questions that come up as you research more. It's like, I... You know, but if you just found this on a blog and didn't see that picture, or what if that picture was really well done? And it, it, what if it was the quality of, like, one of my art teachers, um, that his own artwork just walking down the hallway of the um, Hinckley Center, it, it looks like a photo of President Hinckley. You know, some artists are that good, you know, and you could take a photo of it with higher contrast and you wouldn't really know it's a painting. Contrast will blur brush strokes, especially some people paint so you don't see brush strokes. So, yeah, I'm just going to end that there, but that's interesting. This is not going to my website, but that, that was just like, huh. So then it, it, it's, it sounds even more direct, like that's a photograph than this does. 
you know, because this just says that this is, you know, copied from the original daguerreotype taken in 1843. I think Joseph Smith III just um, could get confused and confuse people. I don't think he's a liar. I don't think Carter was a liar. I think he was confused, and I think the blog that says the Carter confusion is just, that, that's it. There's just a lot of confusion there. Um, but this is linked on my website. I was excited to find that. Of course, I've talked about this before. Excuse me. So, of course, this is on my website. Um, sorry. And um, and I, I've made other videos, but I did find, you know, I, I get really specific here talking about, I, I'm just understanding the timeline of everything that happened, but it was August 1879, the Saints Herald. right there. So sorry people, he made it really clear he was selling photos of you zoom in there. I put that down here. Did I screenshot it? Yep. This is his Judgment of the Third's own. So he'd written a letter to Jane A. Robinson in June 1879. That's what I was trying to find. But all she did was take photos of the painting. But, um, I, I just, I didn't know any of the Providence. I didn't know anything. I didn't know who Joseph Smith III was. When I started all this, I just knew there was a claim. And I researched the face to the death mask and the skull. And was convinced from that alone. And so the things I found have been extremely supportive. This whole history is a little bit nonsensical, but, um, I think being a member of the church are more open-minded and less likely to just be like, oh, they were wrong about this and that, or this doesn't make sense, so I'm going to close the book and throw it against the wall and be like done with it. That's not my attitude, because I don't believe these people are liars. I think people just get confused and do their best. Like, I've just been doing my best, you know, and so you'll see me be wrong about a lot of stuff, and I think the prophet's own son that last saw him when he was 11 years old, isn't going to remember, was it 1843 or 1842, you know, or when did Lucy and Foster, was it 1840, he thinks everything was in 1843, but really the painting was done in 1844, 42, and Lucy and Foster, if he took his father's to care it would have been 1844, it would have been two years later, and he could have had a highly oxidized daguerreotype to update an old 36-year-old painting that was cracking. He wanted to take pictures of and make some money. And so he did take some, you know, pictures of the painting. It's very obvious here. That's all that he ever claims. There isn't anything posted in here. I took photos of my dad's photo. I think he tried. That seemed clear wherever that letter is. I don't know. But I just, I, I don't think Kim Marshall's a liar. I think she did see evidence of this letter saying he has a real photograph of his dad. He's like, if it copies well. I don't know if it will. You know, he, he knew his sister had already copied his mom's own daguerreotype over 10 years earlier. So it just implies that there was probably some oxidation and a reason to not be able to copy. Well, I don't think he put Carter through that. Could he have shown him the daguerreotype and given him one of his photos of the painting that looked really good and almost looked like a picture of a man? I think so. Because it does look a lot. Click the wrong button. Um, lighter. So this is just Smith the Thirds, and then here's Carter. So that is lighter and even more contrast. So that's all I have for you.